Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Let's go ahead and find out what the tea is in this tarot read today. I return to source. I return to center all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in when it appears of white light. Okay. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It is returned to you. Okay. All negative and evil plans of the enemies against you are dismantled. Being dismantled. As we speak, as I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. All right, so let's see what in the name of sources going on out here. You may be receiving some type of offer, financial payout, something about your inheritance. This does not have to be a physical inheritance. This could be just <clears throat> some type of um, assistance you're receiving. But with the nine of pentacles out here, this is letting me know that this may have to do with your finances. You may be receiving some type of offer that's going to put you in a better energy which is gonna allow you to put an end to some type of toxic karmic cycle. Yeah, cycle, I was about to say circle. Uh, so you are kind of at the beginning of something new. You could be starting school, starting some type of new career, whatever this is, it's the beginning for you. And it's going to flourish into something absolutely beautiful. It's gonna put you in a more uh, abundant energy. So you may be coming out of an energy of like right now, okay? What someone was intending for you behind the scenes was for you to not have any type of prosperity for you to end up in this five of pentacles energies and then they were going to come in and just destroy you this is what your enemies were hoping for you but the universe is stepping in to put an end to this chapter while while as you are going through this transformation here <clears throat> excuse me with the clearing throat again today and i did drink some water while you're going through this transformation correct there's someone behind the scenes that's going through quite the opposite. Someone is about to be losing a lot. It's like everything they were intending for you, they are mirroring. So there's this balance being brought into the situation. So you're being made an offer. Um, and the universe wants you to know that this is them acting on your behalf. There could have been someone in the background of you that was supposed to step in and advocate for you. But someone may be a little too afraid to speak up or do the right thing. Um maybe peer pressure the people they are around or something like that um so while you're also receiving this offer or this new abundance this new opportunity whatever this is honey someone wants to come in and interject they want to put an end to it so you be you can be in this situation but the universe is not allowing it something is supposed to be over and done i told you the universe is going to interfere someone wants to put an end to you receiving any type of offers new beginnings because they benefit from this in some way shape or form but the universe is not having it they are interceding on your behalf just like i said it ha is how the car came out like some i'm telling you and someone is going to be burdening they don't realize they're acquiring accruing more problems for themselves someone life is a, is like completely upside down like someone may be homeless losing a home you know, just down and out, but for some reason, they're more focused on you. They want you to be down and out, but you're not. They're burdened. You're okay. You're okay. You're putting an end to this chapter with these people, and Source wants you to know that you are protected. I don't know what the heck this is. This is someone extremely dark. You could be dealing with a toxic couple, maybe someone you are in some type of toxic relationship with that just don't know when to let go, but they're about to find out that they should have let go a long time ago because balance is being brought into this situation. Someone is about to learn a lesson. I'm telling you, they are about to learn a lesson the hard way. Like the hard way is what I'm hearing. Okay, someone does not know how to let go. It says someone is addicted to causing problems for other people while their life is like in shambles. Okay. Someone's life is a nightmare right now. If you are from the outside looking in, you can see the problem this person is facing. But for some reason, they're more focused on you. The universe is stepping in like, nah, we're not having this mess. This trying to destroy someone overly is not taking place. We're done with it. Okay, you've had your time. You say you needed this amount of time to manifest something into someone's life. 
We were just letting you do whatever you wanted to do. We already knew what the plan was. You're not set. You're not destined to destroy this person, but someone is very much set on doing it. It's like everything someone has been doing to cause you an ending has been leading to an ending for them, but they're in denial about it. Someone is about to be homeless or they're already homeless. Someone may be passing away. Someone may have passed away. There's a whole lot going on behind the scenes. A lot of you in the soul tribe are not aware of. Like maybe you're sitting back thinking, well, they didn't really receive any type of you. I didn't receive any justice for what these people did. No, honey, they're receiving justice behind the scenes. They're going through endings. You may not see it. And when you see these people, they may put on a show, but someone is in a nightmare behind the scenes, but interfering with your, 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 your forward movement, your path. Spirit is stepping in and connecting you with new people. I'm telling you, they're not. Mm. Spirit is stepping in and connecting you with new people, a whole new community. <clears throat> this is what's going on. Because the community you're in right now, it's not where you're supposed to be. So you are being connected to a whole new community, new people, new friendships, new careers, new lovers. Okay. Because the ones you are in, they are very selfish. They are selfish people. You may be working for an institution and the owners or the, the up higher ups in those institutions are extremely greedy. They won't step up to assist anyone when you're in need, right? Anything they do, they're doing it more so for like a, like a tax write-off. There's nothing genuine behind it. They don't care about you, okay? And the universe is seeing all of this, all of the actions people are taking to destroy you, block opportunities, uh, create blockages and trap you in something you have no business being trapped in. And they're like, nah, you know what? We've had enough of this. You're not defeating this person. No, you can't reconnect with this person. Okay. You're not about to come in and pretend like you're advocating for them. This is what someone wants to do is come into your energy and act like they're advocating for you. They're fighting for you. They're fighting on your behalf. They've been advocating on your behalf. No, they haven't. Someone is just as involved as everyone else. Do not let the devil mislead you. Don't let the devil fool you. Whoever this is that wants to take action and come in, they're just as involved. They've always been involved. Okay. They're not genuine. They may be reminiscing about you, the olden days and how you two used to be so close. You used to have beautiful conversations and things like that. Nah, you don't have any fun memories of this person. I'm telling you, something is going to be exposed to you about something someone from your past was doing. Uh huh. And it's going to allow you to put an end to some type of chapter. You, someone interfere with your growth. If you started a business, someone went and partnered up with a group of people to destroy their business uh, possibility, the potential for their business. If you started a new position, someone went in and bad mouthed you, lied on you and everything so that you wouldn't be seen in a positive light. If someone is trying to repeat the same cycle and sources that we're not having and we're sick of this mess, it's done. It's done. Okay. You've had your time to come to create all of the chaos. Uh, that you wanted to, and we just want you to know it was never meant to destroy this person. Just it was meant for their elevation, for them to learn. They've learned all the lessons that they needed to learn, and now it's time for this person to move on. So you're moving on, collective. You're putting an end to everything, okay? But someone wants to put an end to you, and they just cannot. It's a mess. What? Why is someone? I'm telling you. Why is someone? This focus on you. And this is a whole King of Cups in the reverse. Lord have mercy. Someone is about to be homeless because they are being exposed. Someone may have stolen from you. Someone smear your character. Someone partner up with a group of people. He may have been even the head of the group. And he thought because you two had some type of connection in the past, he was going to send you some type of message and you're going to be like, oh my gosh. My ex-lover is going through this. Oh, my friend is going through this. And you're looking like, I don't give a crap what you're going through. You've made your bed, lay in your bed. You tried to lay the same bed for me. Do you think I don't know what you were trying to do? Hmm? There could be someone you're familiar with as well. You may work with this person. They're going through an ending. I'm telling you, these people behind the scenes, they may be making it look like everything is okay. They're not okay. This person is showing up in the reverse meaning. They're going through a lot of emotional turmoil. Something is exposed about this person. 
They may have been caught in a lie. Uh-huh. They manipulate a lot. Someone is about to be homeless. They thought you were going to be homeless, but it's them. Their lies are being exposed. I'm telling you. And they've been working with a king of pentacles or they betrayed a king of pentacles. Someone has been friends with a king of pentacles for a long time. And this king of cups is someone that pretends to be in the upright. This could be someone that's religious, pretends to be religious, right? And he misled the king of pentacles because they have been friends for so long. This is why this king of pentacles trusted his judgment, but he's seeing clearly now what this king of cups has been doing. Everything is being reviewed. I'm telling you, this man may see you as wish fulfillment. If you're a feminine energy, this could be a same sex thing as well. He sees you as a wish fulfillment. And this person has been there in his ear telling him lies, smearing your character. But when he talks to this man, he makes it seem like he has his best interest at heart. He may even be envious of this man because of his success. There's something like that going on here. Absolutely. I'm telling you, these two men work together. This king of pentacles may know that you're someone that's very committed to your work. You're hardworking. All you do is focus on work. And this man has been lying in his ear, telling him, hey, she's not this and she's not that. But there's clarity in the situation. Something has been illuminated about how this king of cups in the reverse collaborated with a, a group of other people behind the scenes to cause some type of blockage and interference. This man has been interfering with some type of connection, whether it's a divine union, business con connection, whatever it is. Uh -huh. He's going through some type of karma for that. Someone does not understand what it is they were, they were doing. I'm telling you, this man is going through an ending. He may be sick, unable to recover. There's something going on with him. It said when he tries something and it doesn't work, he comes up with a new plan. And he's gaslighting this king of pentacles or whoever he is friends with. This is not a genuine character. And everything he's been doing is catching up to him. It's absolutely catching up to him. He may have been working with a king of wands in the background. This king of pentacles is going through an ending as well. He may have taken some type of rash action to go against you. I'm telling you, he took some type of action, right? He may have wanted to assist you in the past, but this man was in his ears and he decided not to assist you, right? Maybe now he's choosing to do the right thing. I'm telling you, he's choosing maybe to do the right thing. He's knowing down that he should have reached out did something to bring balance into a situation but you had someone malicious in his ears telling him don't do this don't do that you'll be doing the wrong thing you'll be making a mistake if you assist this person i'm telling you i knew this car was going to come out i knew it was going to come out i knew it was going to come out you don't have any fun memories of this person someone has been exposed as disingenuous it's like they take action up front in the in the physical like when you see them they act like they're in that they're friends with you they're looking out for you but someone is freaking dark malicious greedy okay someone is very it's an airhead is what i'm hearing they don't know nothing they study other people and copy people's uh, personality. If you know something, they'll pick your brain so they can know what you know and then go on and act like they came up with it. This is someone's head. Okay? This is someone's head. <clears throat> Someone has been doing a whole lot of foolery behind the scenes. A whole lot of foolery. And this King of Pentacles here, he was directed by source to assist someone i don't know what the assistance is maybe financially or to connect with someone and work with them and this friend misled him deceived him so he was hoping to help you out he was supposed to come in and give you some type of offer but someone chose to be greedy so there's some type of imbalance in this king of pentacles as well it's not just that he was led astray he's going through an ending as well He's very greedy. Someone is very stingy with money. I see. <laughs> the both of them could be going through endings together. Dang. So this betrayal here was a justice, was karma for this person. They're greedy. Someone is greedy. They know what you were going through. They know you're an empress. 
they knew and they know what you were going through. They know that you needed assistance, but someone is greedy and overindulges in things. They had the finances or the resources, whatever this is to assist you, but they're greedy. They don't know how to share. They'll steal from other people, but if you steal a penny from them, it's a problem. That's one of those people. And they're going through an ending. Okay. They've been trying to defeat you, empty out your pockets, steal from you and things like that. And you're protected. Source is protecting you. They're trying to figure out what your plans are, how are you moving forward, trying to cause you heartbreak and disappointment. The universe is already all over it. I'm telling you, the universe is all over it. It's like anything you try to do, anything you try to do to this person, we're returning it to you immediately on site. So these two masculines, and whoever else they've been working with are going through endings. Okay, they're going through endings and they're going to have to find some type of strength to move on. To move on. Someone is using magic behind the scenes. They think of cups in the reverse. Using magic behind the scenes. Misusing powers and things like that. The universe is not supporting this person. Okay, they're not supporting this person. They're bringing balance into this situation because of what this person tried to do to you. Someone is a facade walking about the face of the earth. And even though they are down and out, they're still trying to act like they're in control. They're not in control. Someone is disappointed by some type of action they took against you, some type of judgment decision, and they thought they were making the right decision. I'm telling you, they thought they were making the right decision. Something is about to be balanced out, though. Something is about to be balanced out with this higher, with this, uh, uh, um, I'm telling you, honey. Something is about to be balanced out. With this hierophant and this magician out here, something is about to balance, be balanced out and it's causing some type of chaos behind the scenes. These people are fighting. I knew it. In the background of you, there's a whole battle going on amongst these people. There's a whole battle going on amongst these people. They're going through endings. Everything they intended for you is what they're going through. But there, these two people here, these two people, they may be getting the brunt of most of the uh, uh, repercussions. Like they're losing everything. Everything. Someone misled their friend. Dang. Someone misled their friend. Now, instead of taking advice from the wrong person, this person is going within to see where they went wrong where they went wrong and these people are bothered by your strength is what i'm hearing bothered by your energy someone thought he was gifted but he's not huh. this king of cups thinks he has the authority to make judgment in other people's life i'm hearing be vigilant collective be vigilant someone may just want to pop up in your energy when they do call the police file charges you're not expecting anyone you don't know what this person want you don't have any scores to settle with this person someone is trying to find a, a a sneaky way a clever way to pop up in your energy like it's just supposed to be accidental it is not accidental it is something that is planned okay it's something that's very well thought out okay it's not it's not something that's accidental someone wants to like accidentally run into you like you go to the grocery store oh there's billy billy what are you doing here oh my gosh mary what are you doing here oh uh, yeah i live like two minutes away from here this is why i'm here oh my gosh i forgot you live so close yeah so what are you doing here billy you live a whole hour away crickets Okay, I'm telling you, mm. these people are not doing well. They are not doing well. With this eight of swords out here, the king of pentacles is not doing well. The king of cups is not doing well. Whoever else is behind the scenes, they're not doing well. They are trapped in their mind because they know this is over. Anything they were planning for you is done. It's done, 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 done. 
These people are trapped in their minds. I'm telling you, this, this is a whole family. This is a whole family trying to block you, trying to block a union. If you have families, if you have kids, you're trying to bring some type of problem to your to you and your kids, you and your family, you and your spouse, your domestic partner, whatever this is. This tea is is a mess, honey. This this is the kind of tarot tea that just be leaving you sitting around like what in the world is going on here? But the tarot cards don't lie, honey. The tarot cards don't lie. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now that someone is down and out, they want to commit to you. Oh, I want to build a family with you. Oh, I want to do this with you. Yeah. And the Most High said, will let you know who you're supposed to partner up with. It's not this person. Someone has destroyed their own life. Now they want to come in. Oh, you know, I know I possibly did this. I mean, you don't have time to listen to none of that mess. Let source be your guidance. You are being protected. You are being supported to move in the direction that you are supposed to move into. It was a whole plot to end you. A whole plot. Someone is disappointed because of something they did to you when it comes to your abundance. They thought they were going to block you and that was going to lead to abundance for them. But as you can see, they're not doing well. As you can see, they're not doing well. What's going on in here is a transfer of power, basically. Something has been taken from a King of Cups who stole it. Let me repeat that. Something has been taken from, taken from a King of Cups who stole it. And it's been returned to the rightful owner. Okay? Now you may have a masculine in here that wants to come and commit to you after he's betrayed you, right? Right. Coming in with ulterior motives and things like that. I'm telling you, this was going to come out. Now he wants to come in and connect with you. I'm going to put this out because as soon as I said it, the car looked like it was coming out. He wants to come and connect with you now. After he's gone through betrayal, experiencing the very thing he put you through. He's going through betrayal. The Ten of Swords is not a betrayal that's accidental. This is because you listened to the wrong person. You took advice from the wrong person. And while you were taking that advice, Spirit was telling you, don't listen to this person. Something's not right. And you told yourself something's not right. Something's not adding up. But you still follow their instructions. Okay. You still follow their instructions after you were told not to. So you and this King of Pentacles, maybe you two are meant to be together, but there are some closure that needs to take place. You two will need closure if you decide to forgive this person, whatever this is. For some of you, this man didn't, they didn't betray you. It's his friend that betrayed him, but someone failed to listen to themselves. They didn't follow their better, better judgment. Now this group is living in fear, not knowing what to do. I'm telling you, they're living in fear. They don't, they don't got out here martyr themselves because they were sure that things were going in their favor. And it looks like it's not, they're not expecting this to happen. They're not expecting this to happen. They said, how did we end up here? It's a whole clan of us, a whole gang of us. How are these two people still coming together? Uh-huh. This is a sacred union. These two are mirroring each other. You two are overcoming something in, in, on your past, on your individual past before you can come together and manifest the reality that you want, that you were meant to, this abundant life. But someone's friend is a, rac a, a raccoon, a coon. They've always been. These two people are next to each other because they are familiar with one another. They may work together, been friends for a long time, something like that. Something like that. Okay? And this King of Pentacles, maybe he didn't know the whole time that his friend 
was betraying him. And he's finding that out now. Okay? Someone is learning how to move in silence as well. These people have been doing, doing all kinds of rituals, all kinds of stuff to block this union from coming together. To block this union from coming together. Spirit may have allowed these people to get something and they got all happy. Oh, yeah, we defeated the, 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 the twin flame, the soul twins. We defeated them. They're not coming together. But the whole time, Spirit was hiding something from these people they didn't see. And now they're living in fear, not knowing how to move, what moves to make. Okay? But you two had lessons to learn. And this lesson has to do with you relying on yourself, your inner self for knowledge, for wisdom, not always having to rely on other people. You see how it went from this here to this? This, is, this usually happens when you take advice from the wrong person. You don't know someone is setting you up. But they will, they will present themselves in a way where it looks like they're righteous and upright. And it will lead to some type of ending for you. So this person betrayed this king of pentacles. But it's not, I don't think this king of pentacles is like a, a, a exactly malicious. He just didn't listen to himself. He's not in tune. But now he's getting getting back to, to, to uh, his foundation. Learning that just because you've been friends for however many years does not mean they're loyal to you. This is what's going on. And he's made a decision that he does want to partner up with his soul twin. He does want to move on. Because you two are showing up here in the queen, in the pentacles energy. King of pentacles, queen of pentacles coming together. I'm telling you, you two are going to end up more than likely getting married. And you'll face the world together, mirroring each other. And this is what people didn't want. But everything happens in divine timing. There's just so much going on here. I keep hearing about a king of swords behind the scenes as well. It's a whole lot of characters going on here. It's a mess. Okay. We have six healing. I'm telling you, you two are going through something together. That's going that's leading to some type of healing for the both of you so you can connect. There is going to be some type of marriage, some type of union that's coming together. Regardless if people like it or not. It's coming together. It is coming together. Six. Your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.